Lockhart, Morris, and Mont. Why is Lockhart, Morris, and Mont wasting their time collecting $62 right here, a balance of $62? You're wasting your time. You're wasting your paralegal's time. You're wasting the mailman's time. You're wasting my time. You're wasting the bank's time. You're wasting your accountant's time. $62. No problem. Let me get rid of you. I don't like this collection on my account, okay? Now, let's first research Lockhart, Morris, and Mont, all right? right? So we got them, and I brought them up. Here it is, Lockhart, Morris, and Mont. Lockhart, Morris, and Montgomery is a third-party collection agency operating nationwide and headquartered in Texas. Founded in 2004, we are here to harass people for $64 or $62. Wow, great bio. All right, now let's go over to their website and see what we can see. Now, uh, here we go. Who are we? We're an agency operating nationwide. I already said that. Collection industry veterans on a mission to transform the way debt collectors interact with consumers. Very nice. Well, how do we get rid of these guys in five minutes? Because, you know, the, they are just, they rub me the wrong way. Okay, guys, they rub me the wrong way. Now let's go over to our Experian over here and we see collections has been flagged as collections. Now let me go down a bit and see what I can see. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. So this actually, I, I, I did this yesterday, but you know I'm recording the video today. So let me show you what happened, okay? So here under financial, this was yesterday, and I'm gonna pull this up, and here we go. The dispute for the account with Lockhart, Mort, and Montgomery that starts with this reference number has been received and should be completed by January 2nd. I'm recording this on December 5th. You want me to wait close to 30 days? I don't want to wait close to 30 days. So let me see what I can do here. Ah, okay. Let me see here. It says an update. Oh, that's nice. The dispute for the account with Lockhart, Morris, and Montgomery that starts with this has been removed from your credit report. Oh, that's nice. Check out the date, report number, account number, company, address. Beautiful. Now, let me see if I'm missing anything. Dispute results ready. The results are now ready. Yeah, I already got the results. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, though. Now, what did I do? Everyone wants to know what do I, you know, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'll tell you what I did. No problem. Okay. Now, let me check it out. Let me open up a notepad over here. So I got Notepad open, and uh, you know I went over to Experian, right? Then I went over to Disputes, okay? And then after I went over to Disputes, they have about 100 selections, okay? And these are selection boxes, okay? Then on the selection boxes, it's going to give you two choices. It's going to say not mine, right, or not authorized. Now it's also going to say incorrect information, okay? Incorrect information. Now. I selected incorrect information, okay? So everyone does that all the time anyway, right? So what's the big deal? Now, let me ask you this. What is the least sexy box that Experian has? All right, let me uh, wait a couple seconds. Go ahead and tell me what it is. What's the least sexy box that Experian has? Yeah, one of you got it right, good job. That was other. There's a box called other. Okay, it's a very least sexy box, other. Now in this other box, you're going to, or at least I, I'm not giving advice here. Why would I get advice and, you know, and get in trouble? No way. Here's what I did. So uh, I entered in information manually. Now what information did I enter? Well, I entered information about why I believed these were incorrect and inaccurate charges or collections on my account. But here's the main thing that I want you to take away from this. They have an automated system of 100 boxes. If you're checking any of these boxes, it'll go through an automated system, which is an algorithm. What is an algorithm? It asks questions, it gets answers, it takes those answers, it asks questions again, it takes those answers, it gets asks questions again, and it continues on in a cycle. So they do this for thousands of people a day, 
Okay, so now you've been rejected with that algorithm. Now, what I've done is actually created some sentences, which, as you know, I'm going to share next week because of my last video. I told you I'm going to share the exact sentences. But for this video, just go ahead and for experience, if you want, click other and write the sentences, the reasons why you believe that you shouldn't be in collections for this charge. Now, here's the deal. If you write something in that box, it'll still go to the algorithm. It'll still go to the automated system. But if you write something in that box in a way that is a little bit confusing, what might happen? Well, AI is very sophisticated nowadays. However, if you write something that is confusing even to the AI, what then will happen? Well, it'll go into manual review, okay? So you got that so far? It goes into manual review. Now, when it goes into manual review, it's manually reviewed by an actual you know, human with a nose and nostrils and a mouth, lungs and so forth. So you want that to happen, okay? In my opinion, I'm not giving advice, right? So you want that to happen for it to get manually reviewed. See you next week.